Are AI hallucinations creative? If you've worked with AI like I have for over the last year or generative AI for the last year, you've definitely come across the concept of a hallucination. Now, a hallucination is when the AI comes back to you with a response to a question that is completely and utterly wrong. But it says it with such conviction that you think to yourself, could be right, could be right. This is why one of the reasons, this is one of the reasons why you people say that you really do need to double check everything that AI, generative AI says back to you, because in some cases, it could be saying things that are completely wrong. And sometimes you're wondering, why do we get these hallucinations? Because the thing about hallucinations that is interesting, the thing about AI that is interesting, and I've said this before a number of times, is that if you think about it, people are all so concerned that AI is going to sort of take over our jobs and take over the world and become sentient and do all sorts of things, all sorts of horrible, evil things, because we, we, we talk about things in a negative light to make the people pay attention to them because people pay attention or human beings pay attention to things that are more negative than they do to pay to pay attention to things that are positive. So that's one of the reasons why we talk about the negative aspects of things, even though these things do a lot of good. So when it comes to AI, AI is basically generative AI at this point in time is basically like a giant, very sophisticated autocorrect. So when you ask it a question, it goes back and looks at its giant database of text, things that human beings have already written and placed into this giant database of text. And it goes in there and it picks out sentence, word after word, and puts together sentences based on what it thinks you want it to say. And that's one of the reasons why it can hallucinate, because when it goes in there and picks those things you want it to say, it doesn't necessarily check to see if those things that you wanted it to say are correct. So when it does come back with something that appears to be a really authoritative answer, it could be completely wrong. Completely wrong. Now, ever since a year ago when Generative AI actually exploded onto the marketplace, they've done a much better job of fixing these hallucinations. So the hallucinations are fewer. The kind of hallucinations where people, where it comes back with completely incorrect facts are fewer. But at the same time, it can come up with some hallucinations that are incredibly creative and incredibly interesting, as long as you know that they're not real, as long as you understand that this is something that the AI has just come up with. And if you think about it, that is where creativity comes when it comes to AI. You can actually take these things and be creative with them. I'll, tell, I'll give you an example. So my brother and I were having a conversation the other day and he's starting up a new company and he was looking for a new logo for this company. And we were going into a we were going into ChatGPT and Dali and I was entering phrases about the names for this new company. And it was coming out with very fanciful logos. We were coming, trying to come up with a logo design for this new company. And it came up with really amazing fanciful logos that we never would have thought of. But then it also came back and added words into the logo that were never in the initial concept of what we were talking about. It went and hallucinated new words, it hallucinated new names, it hallucinated spellings, it hallucinated all sorts of things. But the interesting thing was that out of those hallucinations came a lot of creativity, really interesting combinations and juxtapositions that we weren't expecting came out of it. And out of those interesting hallucinations and juxtapositions that were incorrect, some really interesting stuff came out of it that actually spurred new thinking to come up with new ways or come up with new alt alternatives. And as a result, he came up with a completely new tagline for his company based on what Dali was hallucinating. So I found this to be incredibly interesting. And that is what 
that is what one of the reasons why hallucinations are actually a good thing. I mean, people say that hallucinations are terrible because they're incorrect facts and things like that. But the reality is, is that we can personally take these hallucinations and look at them as the AI attempting creativity. Of course, it's not actually trying to be creative, but these are creative variations that maybe we haven't thought of, but it's coming up with them. And I think that's the key piece that people are concerned with AI is that it's going to hallucinate and it's going to come up with incorrect things. Yes, but we can use those things to help us as human beings be more creative. I've talked before many times about how sometimes I've used ChatGPT as a writing buddy, as I th I'm throwing ideas back and forth, having it give me some concepts that maybe I haven't even thought of. Say, here's a scene where the character X and character Y are doing this or that. Maybe explain how it happens. Sometimes it gives me crap. Sometimes it gives me stuff that triggers me to think new things. And that is how we should use generative AI. That is how we should use generative AI in creating things, using it as an augment to help us to create new things. And that is how we should leverage hallucinations as creative ways that it has come up with that maybe we haven't thought of yet. So hallucinations are not necessarily bad, but they could be how AI is creative. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.